Hello everybody, Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to more Civilization VI as Rome. Julius Caesar as the leader, too. Um, I am getting a Warlord's Throne prepared, a Monument built, and an Ancient Walls edition built in Rome, Puteoli, and Antium, respectively. And I got some builders from... possibly from Germany to come help out in my civilization after they had been captured by barbarians. I suppose that's another good thing about barbarians. And if you take a look at the borders of Germany, in the last part I asked for access to pass through Germany's borders to get my builder back up to my civilization, where it ought to belong even though it originally it originally came from Germany, but you get the idea. I didn't mean to build a monument right there. I will give the Embolon promotion to the Scally for gaining so much experience, and I think I want to change this monument production slot to... Oh gosh, Settler's gonna take 63 turns. Well, Monument's definitely more worthwhile. And as for this builder, I think I'm gonna have him build two Ch Jehokia mounds and a uh, farm right here for this wheat resource. That's probably the best course of action I can take for that builder right now. I get it, Alexander. You want me to fight for my people. Fortunately, that part is going to come soon. Ish. Jehokia is still fighting that barbarian naval unit. And it actually defeated it, it looks like. Good for you, Jehokia. And lo and behold, I cannot imagine any condition. I have entered a golden age. And it looks like Spain has too, while everyone else I've met so far is in a normal era. So many good stuff I can choose from. Uh, what to do? What to do? I think what I am going to go for is a... I don't have any commercial hub or harbor districts. So... I think I'll do pen, brush, and voice for a little temporary culture boost. Because I have some districts in some of my cities. I'll build a mound here. Then I'll build stables right there. I don't have three mines with me yet, but I don't think I'm gonna be getting any archers anytime soon, so machinery it is, I suppose. Manitor is chastising me for exploring too much. Something that I pretty much don't really care about. Sorry to say. I think I want to get this builder over to this banana's resource as well. But not before we see what this World Congress is all about. Plus 10 strength. Combat and religious for all units of this religion. And speaking of religion, I think all of the religious slots may have been used up, so... 
Might be a bit late for me. Actually, no. There's still one more religion that can be founded. Probably not by me, though. I'll do this, then save my diplomatic favor for when something very serious needs up that I want passed. Like so. Catholicism and production. Okay. Man suffers only. Why don't you go make some mounds right here, builder? And head over to this bananas resource while this builder's at it. And this builder... Get me some more horses, please. And thank you. Okay, I think exploration is part of or is part of getting experience for my naval units. I believe. Recorded history, because two campus districts are what I have in my civilization as a whole. God King has become obsolete. I think what I should do is do... Move urban planning up here and put equestrian orders in. I'm still leaving discipline in, in case any more barbarian encampments pop up out of nowhere. We got a special session that I am not a part of. But we do need to address this moderate flood before we get to the resolution of this special session for some reason. There's a military emergency against an unknown civilization. Don't really care because I was not involved just as the game wanted me. Uninvolved. Still no... Yeah, still no walls in the British Empire anywhere. But more walls for me. This time in Putioli. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I do kind of need the gold right now. So thank you for your generous donation at the exchange of some iron. Okay, it's plus three iron per turn right now. That can only increase once I get all of these iron resources down there as soon as I am able to. Okay, I'm still Suzerian of Cahokia. Gosh, scrolling is so sensitive now. Settler. It may delay the the historic moment for getting a city to 10 population, but anything I'll do to get more iron, I'll do it. Uh, I'll get Magnus and place him in... Actually, I'll replace Pingala. I'll still need to assign him somewhere else, though. Like... Akilea. Good idea. Me. This builder is now at the bananas resource I sent him to. Good. Good. 
Spain now has Valencia up there. Although I might have seen it earlier. I'm not 100% sure. I should go ahead and get a harbor district going already. And it's looking like there is not really much need for any more Cahokia mounds. What's the maximum I can build in a city? I wonder. Improvements. Oh, so it cannot be built adjacent to other Cahokia mounds. I get it. Well, at least now I know that for a fact. Well, I was hoping for more gold in my empire at some point. Or gold per turn, I ought to say. I've lived through some terrible thing. There's a Cahokia mound improvement available up here. I'll just send my builder to that right quick. At some point, I'm going to have to upgrade both of the galleys I have to... Oh, why did I do that? If this warrior is going to be blocking my way... I'll give Magnus the surplus logistics. Actually, no. Provision. Because with that, then settlers aren't going to use up a population in the city that Magnus is assigned in. And it looks like this map is revealing that I am part of the Far East. No, I'm not trading with you. As disappointed as that's going to make you, I bet you'll be even more shocked to know that I plan on declaring war on you soon. Even though I'd never declare that on... anyone out in the open until I am ready to do so. I don't think I have a quadrium unit available to upgrade to. Do I? It's... It may actually be of a different class. The galley is... a naval unit, so... I've seen that a Quadrarim unit is a, uh... So Naval Melee is the galley's class, and Quadrarim is a Naval Ranged class. Okay. Well, that is good to know. Guess I'll have to wait to... Uh upgrade my naval units, I guess. As I continue building Cahokia mounds, mainly in Aquilea, and one in Antium as well. Might as well point that out while I have the opportunity. So 
uh, Barbarian Galley blocking my way. But I think my Galley unit will do just fine. Erkini was a logo medahin. Ilmi Ardanga Haga Gonmoni. And she's telling me this because I don't have enough districts in my civilization to get stuff I to get stuff I want done. Can at least teach that galley a lesson and get some XP off of it. I'm very surprised that England doesn't have walls, even after all this time. I think I might as well go ahead and invade them now while I have the golden opportunity to do so. question is, do I go ahead and denounce them right now? Declaring a surprise war outright will be... will be very egregious against us. As opposed to denouncing, then declaring war with a Casus Belli. After five turns. I'll wait a few more turns. After this settler is trained, then I should probably go ahead and get something that will really help me out. I'd imagine the whole world machinery has been researched. I'm gonna have to settle somewhere slightly above the mountains because of the loyalty loss for when I place my city so close. I'm gonna have to go over here. Are you serious? Your Germany's settling one of its cities near the Sahara El Beda. Something I plan on doing soon enough. Ay, ay, ay. Really? I'm gonna go ahead and research apprenticeship, even though I don't have three mines built. I think I'm gonna get a few more horsemen on my side don't even have enough gold to purchase one for the time being. Actually, maybe I should get one horseman and one more legion. Now that I think about this. Okay, so... My open borders with Germany is still in effect. Defense. Defensive tactics. It's one horseman now trained. Now I shall go ahead and train a legion at the cost of one additional turn, then the horseman. 
I think it's really time for me to get an economy going. So I will build a commercial hub district right here. Surplus logistics is tempting. You know what? I'll do it. It only means more growth for Rome. Music is still a banger, though. I like that. Definitely shows how mighty Rome was back in the day. <sighs> Germany's warrior is right where I want my city to be. Sadly. Though it's not really 100% bad as I can just settle here, then I can just straight up take the wheat and the and the iron too. There's that. I think it should be safe to disconnect the builder from the galley now. I'm not going to be settling on the river because of the risk of flooding, and I don't want it to hurt any any of my buildings that I would have. Well, the stuff is going to be built on that anyway. I don't think it's going to matter. And I founded the city of Ostia. Yeah, Ostia. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get... another campus district going because of my builder being on its way over to the wheat and the iron resources. But it can only build one or the other, and that's something I'm not too happy about. <sighs> well... I suppose I can apologize for right now, and maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to build a, build another city just above the Sahara El Beta for this other iron resource. Of course, it's all going to depend on how good my luck is. There's my legion. Now, ready for action. I'll go ahead and build a bath, which will be my signature building. But for that, it's gonna have to destroy the bananas resource. Oh dear. Two gold, one production, three food. I don't think I'm gonna be ready for that right now. Perhaps some encampment training will be beneficial. I'm still feeling very tempted to denounce Britain right about now. In fact, you know what? I think I would consider it safe to do so about now. So, denounce, even though I'll get 25 grievances from this, and she will certainly not be happy with it. Sorry, not sorry, Queen Victoria. 
The Queen wishes to warn those who disrespect her people and her mandate of the manifold troubles that will ensue. Of the manifold troubles that will ensue. Of course. World currently is favoring England right now. Obviously. And I think that is pretty much going to about do it for this part. Save for whatever happens this next turn. Hopefully not much other than the fact that I will become closer to declaring a formal war with England. I'm not sure if the other leaders are going to denounce me for denouncing England. I don't really know the relationships they have. Uh, she has an unfriendly relationship with Spain right now. And not really known with any other civilizations. So, yeah. I think the next part is when I am going to have to declare war on England to get what I want. I consider myself adequately prepared, but who knows? My plans might come tumbling down soon enough. We'll see. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!